What happens when you put in the wrong type of CPU for your motherboard? What happens when you put in the wrong type of RAM in your motherboard? Today we're gonna find out. So first up, let's start with our RAM. Now, normally RAM has a certain teething, we'll call it teething, is that the right word? Teething that you put into your computer. There is certain teething I still don't know if that's the word, who cares. You've got teething for the DDR4 RAM, you've got teething for the DDR3 RAM, and if we go late to like DDR2 and DDR1. And speaking of DDR, where is DDR5? I thought someone told me DDR5 was supposed to be here in 2020. But we're gonna put this in the computer and we're gonna see what happens. Now, hold up, hold up. This isn't gonna fit unless we have some other things, hold up. Now I think we shouldn't have a problem. So we've got two sticks of RAM. This is what should be in the computer. And this is what we're going to try and make fit in the computer. Just send this image to your friend real quick. Someone needs to like snap this and put this on the subreddit. Right here, when the RAM don't fit, this is, this is what you need to do guys. Get the hammer out. Perfect. Now, just so we're clear, there's a very good chance this is actually gonna damage something because this is like, um, not put in there properly. But I mean, that's the whole point of this channel. Watch me do stupid stuff. So let's find out. Yo, that crap almost scared me half to death. Yeah, I think that motherboard might be cooked. Yay. Woo! It's not cooked, but um, what happens when you put in the wrong kind of RAM? Well, um, what happens when you put in the wrong kind of RAM? Well, uh, you end up with a, a computer that doesn't post, so don't do that at home. What happens when you put in the wrong kind of fan? And if you're unfamiliar, this is a server fan, and uh, this is going to be a safety hazard on this channel which is also no surprise, we have lots of those. So let's plug this in. A couple of things I just want to point out if you're trying this at home, because I think everything in here is at least not recommended, but you can do at home. I've learned from experience that uh, when server fans go uh, really fast, I think these are like 15,000 RPM or something. No, I think that's hard drives, server hard drives. Anyway, these boys go really fast. So if you put your finger in these boys, uh, I call it chop shop. Because, well, it's gonna have a fun time. Yeah, let's plug this in. I'm gonna like step away. This is gonna be a danger. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna, you're not gonna be able to hear me. Let's get started. So what happens if you put in the wrong kind of fan in your computer? Well, um, you have a local safety hazard. Oh crap, I think that's OSHA knocking at my front door. And I think this video can be none other summarized by the fact that a hammer is the main tool we're uh, putting things together with. That just should show you the kind of video that we're working with. So what happens if you put in the wrong kind of hard drive and you might ask, but Jay, What's the wrong kind of hard drive? Well, that'd be like putting in a SATA 2.0 hard drive in a SATA 3.0 motherboard, which basically won't actually do anything abnormal. It's just, you're gonna have a slow boy and uh, it's gonna be bottlenecked by the hard drive just because the speed in which these communicate is off balance. We're just gonna use that, off balance. Let's plug this in. Actually, I gotta get one that's actually the right version. Let's see, where is the old boys? Ah, yes, 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 yes. I think this is, oh yes, 2008. Dang, that shows you where we're at on this channel. Yeah, a lot of people don't think I'm that, that young. I'm, I'm kinda young. This channel's a joke though, in case you can't tell. Let's plug it in, see what happens. Uh, say it 2.0. Yes, sir.
Yo, that thing sounds like we're uh, flying on a jet engine at the moment. Oh, but it's booting. So, uh, we should be. So if you're one of the cultural individuals to have cultural, what does cultural mean? One of the cultured individuals that has a SATA 2.0 hard drive, then you should have no problem plugging it in if you're a normal person. Uh, this one just appears to have um, parted ways with us today. And I think we just need to pay our Fs to pay respect. And uh, sadly, this, uh, this boy outlived its use. Um, Rest in peace. Moment of silence, guys. I mean, it is what, like 12 years old? I mean, that thing can almost drive. What the heck? Now, real quick, I want to just make a quick comment. Um, this is kind of hard for me to show you, but power supply cables, you would think putting in power supply cables, long as it doesn't look different. Well, this is be quiet's power supply cables. But long as it don't look different on one end, these should be interchangeable. I've got a whole bin of them over here. And surprisingly, EVGA has told me that you can have the wrong cables that can fry your SSDs. Apparently, if you plug in the wrong cables, even though it's their cables, like you have a bunch of EVGA cables and you plug in an EVGA cable into an EVGA power supply, if it's not the EVGA right, if the right EVGA crap, and you plug it in and you plug it in your SSD, it can fry them and they say, oh, sorry, that's your fault. Let me ask you a question. How does a wire, a wire that goes from one end to the other have a wrong wire. Is there like some chip in here or something? And this is, I'm, I'm, I'm fussing at be quiet, but this is EVGA. Why does a wire, why do you have a wrong wire? How does that work? The electrical engineer would like to know. Now, I know it's, I know you, I know you, you've been watching so far. You know, you know what time it is. It's time to put in the CPU. So we've got two, two specials for you. We've got an absolute treat. I've got a, CPU that is from I believe the previous generation that this is supported for and then I've got an AMD processor That we're going to also put in there to see what happens now a couple of things first off Normally you have a CPU that should work fine and if you put in the wrong CPU long as it it's not like um, Kind of way then you should be fine, but in this case This is a CPU from the previous generation if you've seen any AMD processors recently AMD is absolutely killing it with backwards compatibility. And basically all you have to do is update your BIOS if you put in the wrong CPU from a previous generation. But remember, this is Intel we're talking about here. And um, th that, that really didn't happen. So even with the same number of pins and even with the same kind of socket design, uh, you still can have the wrong CPU. And when you put this all together, we'll see what happens. And then we'll try the AMD CPU. I think I've just gone insane from these videos. I'm sorry, guys. I really have. These videos have taken such a toll on me. Guys, this is my confession video. I'm quitting YouTube because uh, these videos have just sent me insane. Cool, cool. So now it's time to start up with the uh, old CPU. Huh? Okay then, well, uh, your mileage may vary, and, uh, wow. I guess I have two CPUs now that I have motherboards for. I guess I have now two extra CPUs that I can find use for. Hmm. But apparently, I, this must be the same generation then. But your mileage may vary. You may expect that, uh, sometimes the CPUs that are older may actually work as they're intended. Now, for the um, grand finale, we've got ourselves um, your treat. You're looking for the AMD CPU. Now, for this one, I'm gonna have to get my camera close so that I can uh, show you what I'm doing here. Let me get to see if I can get my camera to focus here. Oh, come on. There we go. And uh, this is all I'm gonna do. Just go casually drop this in the socket. Like that. Oh gosh. Send that to your friends real quick. Let's see, can we get a nice zoom in here? Oh yes. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Let's turn the sucker on real quick. Just lay it on top. That's literally everything you shouldn't do, by the way. Just, just so we're clear. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, to answer your question that you never knew you had, uh, the answer is uh, nothing. The CPU just doesn't do anything. And uh, yeah, exactly what you'd expect. It just doesn't do anything. Now, theoretically, theoretically, we're gonna put this out here. You could connect the power and I guess some of the PCIe Express pins, uh, but there's a lot of issue with, A, this is a server grade, I believe this is, there's, no, there's a chipset on this motherboard, surprisingly. Um, but the server grade chipset from an Intel talking with an AMD desktop lineup CPU, uh, th there's, yeah, uh, I mean, it is DDR3 and DDR3, but still, I, I doubt that you could get that working. Um, I would probably, you would probably need access to both the schematics for, yeah, you're just not, that's not happening. Uh -huh. Yeah. Might as well make your own CPU at that point, guys. Might as well make your own CPU at that point. Oh, freaking mess. I just cleaned this up, too. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, and thanks for tuning in to Jay's adventures into answering questions you never knew you had. So thanks for watching. See you all later, and subscribe and like if you gave this a thorough bit of enjoyment. Even though that made no sense. Bye.